Welcome back to another episode of Geeks Guide to Gear. Gear. In this episode today, we're going to be talking about jewelry. Evan's favorite. <laughs> what would you have to say about like the aesthetic slash vibe that we have at TNO as far as like lots of local stuff um yeah. like everything else that we have in our store lots of local stuff mm -hmm. but lots of leather lots of stone um lots of natural materials it's not that one giant rack that you see of like keychains with, yeah. with everyone's names on them yeah. you know it's i'm it's, so glad that we don't have that no me too please, please let us never get that no, it's okay <laughs> you know i think a good place to start i think is let's start with the local stuff julie mills owns mill five mills five designs and she's local, she's right here in town. She came in last spring, and um, her specialty is resin jewelry. So, mm -hmm. like, Which, stuff... if you know anything about resin right now, it's like the in thing. Yeah, resin is cool. At the beginning of last year, she said, I wanna start doing Piers Gorge designs, where I'm gonna take like um, wood from Piers yeah. Gorge, the um, small pieces of driftwood, small mm -hmm. pieces of lichen, small pieces of stone, and put those together yeah. um, in a collective and put those in the resin. And she gave me, well, I actually bought this from her and I bought this in like May. Yeah, you wear that like every day. I've never taken it off yeah. since then. I shower with it. I've spent all rafting season working with it. Yeah. I, I Everywhere I go, it goes. Yeah. And it's like the day I bought it. Mm -hmm. And the the wood that you see in any of these necklaces are in her keychains. They are Piers Gorge. Yeah. They're from the Gorge. Which I think is super cool for anyone that's like from here. Like if I ever like move away, like, I want this, because yeah, I want to be, like, an iconic I have a piece, piece of, our area of with like, you. my childhood. Literally is an iconic piece of yeah. our area, because our area, Piers Gorge, is a big thing. Yeah. So, Julie's got a lot of cool stuff here, and that's just kind of right. one of the things, and I, guess I want to start with that first. So, Fleece and Fancy by Chris, Kristen? Kristen Rice. Yeah, Kristen yeah. Rice, yep. Yeah. So, another um, local artist. Yeah. And actually, now that I'm, like, looking at this, I think that I bought there. a pair of earrings, but, like, not from here. She, it was like a, an art fair. A lot of her stuff is leather, I believe, right? Um, leather, and cork. leather and cork. This yeah. is this is cork. No, it's cork. The they I are have. so yeah. cool. It's really cool. So cool. Like, and they are a huge seller. People love her stuff. Mm -hmm. Touch on the guy's stuff. Since well, you're we, a guy. We have some guy's stuff. We do. So, um, I, <laughs> leather cuff bracelets are super, super popular. Um, I know they're really popular in guys especially. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, come on, right? Um, we have a bunch of different styled cuffs, and these are twelve dollars. I mean, it's... and there's like smaller ones too. Yep, they're smaller, like... there's larger. Yeah. They're usually all multiple sizes too. So if you're, you know, if you have like adult size wrists, unlike mine, um, we do have <laughs> yeah. some for your size as well. But that is mine. Yeah. No, we probably. I bet you we have almost the same size hand. Really? Really bad. Look at. Oh wow. Small short story. When I was a little little kid, I went to see Siegfried and Roy, uh -huh. and after the after the after the performance, my dad took me up because I wanted to be a magician so bad when I was like seven or eight years old, and I got his autograph or whatever. And my dad's like, he wants to be a magician when he grows up, and Siegfried's like, oh, you do, come here. And I walked up, he grabbed my hand and like yanked it up by his face, and he looks at me, he goes, you will never be a magician. He throws my hands back in my face. He's like, your hands will forever be too small. And I'm like, so weird as an eight-year-old kid, I'm like, okay, thanks, you know. <laughs> okay, never But the mind. dude was right. But why was it? Like I'm sorry about thing. the whole lion thing, but for real, I can't palm a card. I can't do any magic yeah. tricks because my hands aren't big enough to hide anything in. Let's go back to necklaces. Um, <clears throat> so Michelle makes mm -hmm. these ones. So she yeah. is an aficionado. We tried to get her behind the camera today, but she didn't want to do it, which is okay. It's okay. But I um, you. <laughs> it's fine, Michelle. Don't worry. <laughs> If she doesn't assemble these herself or, or do them herself, she does hand curate them. So everything mm -hmm. that she knows about jewelry, which is a lot, a lot, a lot yeah. um, she is able to pick all these things up by hand. So every high quality piece you see, it is high quality because if it's not, and there have been things that she's purchased yeah, and, and she's brought like, in and been like, no eh, one. these aren't good enough. Like, that's There's fine. other ones that are similar to this other like stone type of stuff mm -hmm. or like, we do do a lot of agate too. So mm -hmm. we have a lot of agates. We have a lot of Lake Superior stones. So again, yeah, we're trying to give you pieces world. of the UP to take with you where you go. So yeah. like I said, I wear a piece of Piers Gorge everywhere I go. It's part of who I am. But, yeah. you know, as part of the UP, if you're taking a piece of Lake Superior, you know, you're carrying Mother Superior with you yeah, everywhere you go. That's, like, that's very iconic to our area. And we do have a lot of that stuff as well. Like all of this Piers Gorge stuff, anywhere between 15 and $20. And I'm wearing, this is my favorite. Yeah. I got the, this from um, downstairs. Before I got 
gauges, um, which you probably can't even tell because they're like babies. But um, before I made that transition, I wore, um, for years and years and years, I wore like the faux um, gauges, not because I wanted to fake people into thinking that I had Because gauges. gauges are cool, but gauges are time consuming yeah. and they hurt. And I, I really just liked the look. We have wooden ones, and we've had the wooden ones for a while. They are cool. Um, but actually, I convinced Michelle to get some, like, stone mm -hmm. ones, so... Um, they really fit the feel of what we Yeah. Five bucks. Five bucks. I'm going to get some. Five my, dollars. My Five um, dollars. And, and for an extra two dollars, I've got a needle in my office. I'll pierce your ears. Yeah, there you go. How about that? We just got these in as well. These are actual... Dedicated um, gauges. Plugs. They're stone. Examples. Geek's Guide to Jewelry. Guide to jewelry. Geek's Guide to, um, again, I don't know what I'm, like, this is another episode of things, I'm not really sure what I'm talking about. Like, not really sure what I'm talking about, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> you're like, you can wear these things. <laughs> you can put them on your neck and in and your ears and on your wrists. As a closing note, if you have, if you yourself or you know of a friend who is really into, like, being unique, such as myself, and I'd say... Yeah, I don't know anything about that. He likes being unique. Like, this jewelry fits that. Box. Like, comment, subscribe, click, watch the other videos. You know how this goes. You know, you know this by now. You know the drill. You want to see, you have to subscribe. And then you have to like. And then you have to like. And then, then you have to you comment, comment that says, this is the coolest video I've ever seen. Uh -huh. I like your black denim jacket, you know? So. And then I'll say thank you. Yes, and then we'll tell you to come buy jewelry. Yes. Okay, right. until next time. Bye. See ya.